All right, hey guys. I was sitting here and I was thinking about how I'm going to frame this video. Because it's like, I don't know. I was thinking about the Paula Dean thing. How she got fired from the Food Network because she was racist. <laughs> but I, I can't help but think that as much as I don't dislike someone fired for being racist, let me get my fingers in there, racist, yeah, racist, it's like, I mean, you know, she's racist. I, I hate to say that because I don't like the freaking 1964 newspeak. You know, I, I divorced myself from freaking modern society in terms of freaking diversity and all that stuff, you know. I'm a small government social conservative. I should call it social conservative. Because I don't believe in a uh, unified government, but a small government. Um, a defragmented government. Not defragmented. Oh, well. Anyway. Um, deregulated. Free thought. But how far can free thought go? And I was thinking about that, and I'm going, well, God, this lady's a freaking racist. I mean, you know, she's talking about good old plantation wedding and freaking, um, uh, you know, and how she just like it all to be all black men catering in white shirts and white tuxes and bow ties. You know, good little nigger, she said. I mean, <laughs> Hello, I, even I can't skirt that one, you know, I mean, come on, you know, but I don't see why people have to make these stupid apologies to try to keep their jobs either. That's, that's social freaking network, that's social justice gone wrong. What I do think she did for wrong, though, by my ideology, is treated her workers badly. She was verbally hostile. She was uh, sexist. She was freaking all these things that don't really matter. But the fact is, she was employing them. So it becomes an economic issue. It becomes a workers' right issue. And, and even if it was generated by racism or sexism, the point isn't the racism or the sexism, it's the workers' rights. See, I was trying to find a point where positive justice could be done economically, and it could be the complaint that why the motivation was for her abuse of her employees was racism, sexism. You know, I don't know about sexism, though, because if you want us to be a... This is in the South, right? If you want to be a good old boy and crack freaking sex jokes and stuff, you know, her... her this is all because of her, her brother's something-something Bubba in their last name, Dean. You know, what his comments were and stuff. I guess it's Dean, if that's not her married name. Anyway, all the liberals are up in arms, you know, oh, she's racist, oh, I always thought, but I, that's what I'm trying to get away from, so I divorced myself from that. And the race realists are all like, oh, that's wrong, blah, 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 you know. And here I am, a social conservative, or cultural conservative, small government conservative going, well, it's not wrong for this, but it's wrong for that, you know. And it is wrong for that. So, that's my whole thing on the Paula Dean. Shouldn't have to apologize. Shouldn't have to lose her job. It should be the choice of the viewer. You know, but if the viewers don't want her, and hey, if the freaking sponsors fault, but it shouldn't just be freaking knee jerk. You know, and I don't know. I think society made a wrong turn in the 60s.